The city of Gaul to me has always actually meant this ground. Um, uh, there's some beautiful beach restaurants, it's a lot of a, 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 a big fishing industry, but to me it's always meant this view, the fort. Well, Gaul, as far as cricket is concerned, is all about the fort. I mean, that's that's it. You know, it dominates the landscape. That it's your view. It commands your view wherever you are on the ground. Well, uh, in 1993, uh, as a South African team, we played a warm-up game here. Um, you know, this very venue, and uh, you know, always it's very surreal being here, to be honest. It really commanded um, headlines on the world stage when the tsunami hit here. That fort's 400 years old. It was the only thing in the city which was capable of withstanding the force of the tsunami. You see some of the derelict buildings. I mean, even this high street here, we saw a lot of the derelict buildings. It's, uh, it really is eerie. They say that the waves, as it came in, and as the water came in as its highest, was at the top of a, uh, a first uh, story of a building. So that's I mean, it's excessive, but, but massive buses just floating all over the place and, and carnage everywhere as you can imagine. And the sad thing about it is uh, in Sri Lanka in total some 40,000 lives were lost. What a, what a disaster that was for the Sri Lankan people clearly. And, uh, and I think the way that they've got things back in Gaul and the way that we're here now still playing Test Cricket in Gaul and also importantly that that's just a day that shocked everybody and that's a day that, uh, that I think the world will never forget. Somehow they find a way and it's just as, just as we do in, in cricket, we find a way to be successful and, and, and the same with these people. Um, they get on with life and they make the best out of it and that really is something that I think all of us has, uh, has taken out of, uh, a lot of learning taken out of this. In many ways, the, the Gaul International Cricket Stadium has become a, a sort of living, um, active memorial to the tsunami as well, just the fact that it was able to be rebuilt within three years. Um, you come to Sri Lanka and all you see, they call it the land of the long, wide smile. And uh, they do nothing better than that. These little kids are wonderful, the people here in Sri Lanka are so friendly. And to have gone through that and lost relatives and, and people, you know, it must be something quite, uh, quite terrifying. And, uh, but uh, here we are, we're playing a test match and uh, great to be on this lovely ground.